I usually put like at least 30% more effort into these than I'm doing right now, but I have been feeling really bad. I just wanted to get one good thing done before that. So if you want to skip this whole video, what you need to know is that I'm going to say the word MIDI at least 75 times that you should probably just buy the Alesis Vortex if you're not sure what keytar you want. And yeah, that's that's it. I normally clean up my loft a little bit before I try to record something in it. You see keytars that are MIDI controllers. You see keytars that are not MIDI controllers. Everything talks about does it have MIDI? Does it do MIDI? So um MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it's a way of musical instruments that are digital to communicate with each other. It means that digital communication is not limited to one brand. You wouldn't have to buy all one brand or one type. This was before my time, but in ye old the 70s, it goes from a point where a keyboard setup is this big. That's a accurate visual approximation. And then it suddenly goes to a large rack and one or two keyboards instead of having 30 different keyboards. And that's because MIDI came along and it standardized it and said, all of your different sound modules can now be played through one keyboard. That's very cool. Especially when your MIDI controller is say, oh no, don't go down there. Don't be too far down there, I wanted to grab this so smooth and cool. When you say all your MIDI sound modules are now going to be able to be controlled with one keyboard controller, somebody decided, okay, but so what if we made it smaller and I attached it to my body? And that is the birth of the keytar, my friends. That is the birth of the keytar. This keytar is a portable synthesizer type keytar or a portable keyboard type keytar which is sort of a distinction I made up myself, but just roll with me here. You've already watched the first three videos in this series. You're hooked now. You and I both know it. You both know you're attracted to my charming wit and my inability to go <laughs> say a complete sentence. This keytar sounds like this. When I plug this through the quarter inch jack into my computer and I ask it what uh, sound it makes, the computer knows that it makes these sounds. And the computer knows that because there is a sound programmed on the chip. So Cameron over here is not like that. This is a MIDI controller keyboard. There's a really... You've never heard me play this keytar on this YouTube series. It is not because the keytar is broken, but it is absolutely not because the keytar is fully functional. Where's my cord? Where is all my shit? I am going to plug this in with this high quality MIDI interface. This was $3 on Amazon.com. And among my list of things to purchase, right next to an Alesis Vortex and an Arturia Micro Brute, is an actually decent audio interface. But for now, did I just quit GarageBand? I just opened GarageBand and then I quit it, because I'm that stupid. It makes random noises sometimes, but here you go, proof that it works. This is why I never use it on this channel. So as you can hear, that sounds pretty cool. What I'm plugging it into right now is GarageBand, which is a um, software that lets you do all sorts of different musical instruments. Now, if you're paying a whole lot of attention, or even a little bit of attention, you'll notice that I'm getting drastically different sounds out of the same keytar with just changing the software. The reason I can do that is because of MIDI. If you were a kid in 2004, 
and you really wanted the Motorola Razr phone because your friends had it, because it had MP3 ringtones, you might remember the struggle of only being allowed to have MIDI ringtones. And if you really wanted the Code Lyoko theme as your ringtone, but you didn't even have a cell phone until like ninth grade and you were the last person in your whole class to have a cell phone, and you just wanted the Code Lyoko theme because even though you were the last kid in your class to have their own cell phone, you still were a big enough dweeb that you had to have the Code Lyoko theme, you might remember tracking down the A World Without Danger MIDI file. If you haven't, I feel like you might want to go back and relive 2005, because it was... And it sounds like one thing on your computer, and then you put it on your phone, and all the instruments are different, that's because of MIDI. Or if, when you were only allowed to email your friends and you were going on Code Lyoko forums when you weren't supposed to, you remember if you had childhood of I have my own email address and I am going to email my friends. You can't send them mp3s because you can't send a file attachment larger than like what was it 30 kilobytes or something like that? Is that what the K stands for? Is it kilobyte or gigabyte? Anyway, um, remember when I said I usually put more effort into these videos than this? This is what I'm talking about. You uh, email MIDI files back and forth, and MIDI files are really small to send. This, while we're in the subject of 2005 to 2006, this is sheet music. Don't look at it too long or you'll realize what it's sheet music of. Sheet music and MIDI are very similar because sheet music says over here what key and what instruments but they don't actually, there's no music in this. You need it to be interpreted by somebody who can read sheet music and play it. And MIDI is kind of the same thing. This keyboard doesn't make any music. Actually, it's almost just transcribing what I'm typing. When I press this on the keytar that's turned off, when I press this, it knows that it's C. I take my finger off and it knows how long I press my finger on, how in this, all my after touch, my initial touch, before touch. What is what is the touch that is not after touch? All of that, um, it knows. It knows how long I held it for. It knows if I applied any effects up here. It knows what my octave shift is doing, what this definable thing is doing. And it sends that all to the computer. And then the computer takes that uh, information and it adds an instrument that the computer already has downloaded. So if I record me going... When I recorded all that, it knew how fast I hit those keys and what keys I hit. But if I take those that whole thing that's labeled dynamic swell and I put it in classic electric piano, I can tell my MIDI software to change the instruments and it can do that because it doesn't have a recording of a sound that I played. It just has a list of what notes to play when. So the perks of a MIDI controller is that you can use it with pretty much any MIDI thing and using your computer, you can make it sound like anything. Anything. I think there's an option here for like... You can make it sound like anything. If you've got a MacBook, you've already got GarageBand and, um that has, assuming that you let it install all the files, which I did not, um, that's got several hundred thousand sound files that you can use that you can control with your MIDI controller. If you have an idea of what sound you want, a MIDI controller is really good because it will let you find that specific branch of sounds and then work within that to find exactly which sound you want and give you really fine control. If you got a keytar for your band, you knew exactly what you wanted it to sound like and how you wanted to play it because you wrote a song with your band and the whole time that you're playing it on keyboard, you feel like if I had it on keytar, 
this is um, what we would be working for, that's fine. But this is, originally I called the series How to Play the Keytar for the Non-Keyboardist. It is now titled How to Play the Keytar Taught by Somebody Who Should Not Be Trying to Teach the Subject. But that's not the point right now. If you know where you want to go with your sound, a MIDI controller connected to a computer is a really, really good thing to do. When I'm writing music, I almost always write my songs on acoustic guitar. I'm not very good at acoustic guitar. I'm not very good at any instrument I play, but it's a comfortable one and it lets me... Ah, got distracted there. I'm so tired right now. I should not be recording this video right now. But guess who's doing that? Me! If you don't play any instrument and you wanted to get into guitar, you, you looked and you're like, that is the instrument for me. That's the instrument that I want to play. You're jumping from a non-keyboard, like you're a guitarist who wanted to play a guitar, or a harpist, or a flutist. You play drums and you wanted to get into guitar, and you don't have the piano background. Wrists up high, hold them like bubbles, make sure that your thumbs go under your fingers, um, kind of piano. If you are trying to get into music, you don't play any instrument and you wanted to play the guitar. First of all, that's awesome. Somebody's gonna tell you that you picked the wrong instrument. A lot of people are gonna tell you that. I'm not one of them. If you don't play an instrument and you picked up an instrument and you said this is yours and you're gonna learn it, it doesn't matter if it is the goddamn hurdy-gurdy. If you don't play an instrument and you wanna play an instrument and you picked up an instrument and started playing, you've gone so much farther than most people. If somebody can tell you that you're playing the wrong instrument and you are allowed to listen to them and nod and smile when they talk and then the second their back is turned ignore everything they say. Anybody who's telling you that your music you're playing is wrong needs to go away. And if you need to just smile and nod them out of your life, go for it. You don't need that in your life. You don't need that kind of nonsense in your life at all. So, when I say I want kind of a fluty sound on the uh, on the MIDI keyboard, I go, okay, okay, what about this? Wait, how are those different? And now whatever I had going in my head is stuck here with me trying to figure out the difference between pop, flute, and And with this one, I'm like, I want a flute sound. That I like about this little guitar's really, really terrible sound patches is that it lets me open my mind to what are other sounds that I could be looking for. But the point is I don't spend four hours when I go, I need a flute noise. I know that one of the three usable patches on this uh, makes kind of a flute noise, and then I can just go from there. When you have all of the options, you lose most of your creativity. And when you're stuck trying to make things work and you're at your wit's end, you have all of the creativity. It's extremely stressful to constantly be working in a state where you're right at your wit's end, so I don't suggest doing that, but limiting yourself when you're trying to create music is really helpful. If anybody wants to donate to the guitar cause, I want an Arturia Micro Brute, which is an analog synthesizer. Now you can get 8 billion sounds out of an analog synthesizer, but they're still all analog synth sounding. There's no digital sound that could sound like a friggin' analog synth. It's just, it's a very sexy noise. I just love it. And I want one. Like, if you just play, if you buy your guitar and you just play piano parts on it for the rest of forever, that's totally fine. If you just play piano parts on it until you got the hang of it, Go for it. But the important thing when you're being a creative musician is to, um, is to be sitting with your instrument and working with it until you know what your sound is. And then when your brain needs music, you can go to that sound. And so MIDI controllers are so, so much more flexible than a portable synth, 
especially if it's a portable synth that doesn't have MIDI out. Um, a 5-pin MIDI is becoming very difficult to actually find uh, pieces for, I've discovered. Uh, if you remember back in MIDI Quest, I, yeah, could not find anything. I pretty much never use this as a MIDI controller because I've conveniently got a, like, decent one. So there you go. Um, I think I've said everything I need to say. I don't remember what else I was trying to say. I got distracted with how much I still like Code Lyoko. Like, favorite, and subscribe if I wasted your time.